infrastructure. If we consider, see, these are the devices. Devices are connecting to one route. Okay, yeah. Uh, before going for Microsoft Azure, let me introduce about myself. Uh, hi, my name is Shekhar. I have 15 years of experience on Microsoft technologies. Currently, I'm work working as an Azure architect. Okay, yeah. Next, before going for Microsoft Azure, just I want to let you know something about IT infrastructure. Okay, do you know what is the IT infrastructure? Anyone has any idea? Generally, what is the IT infrastructure? IT infrastructure is the combination of software as well as like hardware. Is there like uh, if it's uh, like in a data center, we can see the like database server, computers, and all all the combination yes. of hardware and software. Yes, correct. Simply, we can say uh, if we enter into the one organization, whatever the things are visible, that we will call it as infrastructure. Am I right? I can say systems, cables, wires. Okay, uh, and the routers, internet connectivity, server rack, server, data center, all these things we can call them as infrastructure. Simply we can say IT infrastructure is nothing but collection of hardware, software, switches, network, load balancer is called IT infrastructure, right? Okay, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we require what? Data center, okay? If you go for any organization, the company will have their own data center. The company uh, will have their own data center. See, this is the exact picture of IT infrastructure. If we consider, see, these are all the devices. Devices are connecting to one router. So this is load balancer. The request is maintained by load balancer. Also, this is the hardware system, RAC, database. These are the network connectivity, cable, so while these are, we will call them as what? IT infrastructure. This is the exact definition of IT infrastructure. The term infrastructure as an information technology that refers collection of hardware, software, switches, network load balancer is called IT infrastructure. Now, uh, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we required what? One DC. What is the DC? Data center. Okay, if you go for TCS, Cartridge, and Wipro, Accenture, any company in the world, they will have their own data center. They have their own data center. Okay, so simply I can say, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization. I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through internal or corporate network is called data center. Okay, I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization. Okay, for example, uh, you have an organization, you got one project where I would like to build five servers. So, to build five servers, what we have to do? We have to go and verify whether space is available in the data center. Once space is available, then we will rack the servers. Then we will start building all these five servers from scratch. Okay, so that is what data center. See, this is the exact picture of data center. This is the exact picture of data center. For example, we are working on one organization. We got one new project where I would like to build 10 virtual missions. I can say 10 virtual missions. First step, what we have to do? First, submit the request to data center team. This is the data center team. Okay, they will verify whether space is available or not. Yes, they will drag the space. Once space is available, first step, they will install operating system. Okay, second step, they will configure the networking. Okay, third step, they will install all monitoring tools. Okay, fourth step, they will install security vulnerabilities and security patches for it to deploy your application. Okay, fifth step, we will configure the firewall rules. Sixth step, 
uh, we will enable network security rules okay virtual network rules okay etc etc finally we will verify all these servers are built uh, based on what is that checklist or not once these servers are built finally these servers would be hand over to development team am i right development team or project team whoever it is whatever we are calling it as now to complete this process minimum it will take 7 to 10 days why because uh, we have to submit the request it should be approved by manager okay then uh, it will go to data center team data center team should allocate the space for these five servers depends on business requirement okay then installation configuration management uh, verify check security vulnerabilities to do all these things it will take minimum 7 to 10 days okay minimum 7 to 10 days okay uh, this is burden to organization why because if it is taking like uh, 7 to 10 days it is very difficult nowadays everything is happening instantly right so apart from that we have to manage windows team i mean operating system team next networking team okay next load balancer team next monitoring team next security team next application deployment and management team so many teams are required to manage or to provide the support to customer okay so to maintain these many teams to maintain our own data center okay the project but the the project budget is very 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 high okay we are not able to bear the organizations are not able to bear such kind of amount okay that is the one reason why entire it industry looking towards cloud 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 okay if we go for cloud computing whatever the count i said five servers that can be deployed within span of a minute i am telling only one minute not even two minutes okay we can host all these servers within span of a minute very seven days and uh, one minute there is a lot of gap okay when you go for cloud computing you need not maintain what is that these many teams like windows team monitoring team implementation team application monitoring team security team many things everything is inbuilt we can provision the virtual machines within span of a minute okay that's why entire organization all the organization in the world looking towards cloud 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 okay this is the just one region we have many regions okay so what are the other regions are there why entire organization is moving towards cloud computing first thing have a look to maintain the data center it is not a small task what is that to maintain the data center it is not a small task first thing to maintain our own data center we have to purchase the building we have to purchase the building or construct the building okay that building should be construct as per rules and regulations and guidelines provided by government okay so why because uh, we are going to store the data that might be sensitive for all uh, personal people or business related information so to build their own data center they have to follow rules and regulations and guidelines provided by it laws by government okay yeah next so uh, see first thing we have to purchase one building and design according to data center rules and regulations and guidelines next uh, we have to design the data center in such way that next to after designing the data center we need many things okay what are the things first thing we need dedicated space for housing infrastructure the point which i have just explained okay next we need high bandwidth internet high bandwidth internet in the sense for example uh, my organization data center is there in new york i am sitting in hyderabad okay to access the data to access the data or 
application information or database, we need high bandwidth internet. We need high bandwidth internet. Okay, that is the another cost, right? Next, uh, we need redundant power supply. Redundant power supply in the sense, see that to run this data center, we need electricity. We need electricity. If there is no electricity, then we should able to run this data center with a battery or generator. Again, that is cost, right? Yeah, next step, dust-free environment. You know, right? So always uh, we should we should construct these building and design and the main name should be, what is that? Dust-free environment. Do you know uh, Microsoft data centers, uh, they are trying to deploy them inside of the sea, inside of the sea. So going forward by 2030, data centers cannot be appear on earth. Uh, data centers, they are going to build it inside of the sea. Okay, that is the innovation is going on. Maybe that will be available by 2030. Okay, fine. Next, other thing is uh, efficient cooling system. Okay, efficient cooling system means if we enter into the data center, you can see less than 10 degrees Celsius temperature. Less than 10 degrees Celsius temperature. Why? Because any hardware device, it will produce a lot of heat. Okay, uh, in order to cool it, so always we should maintain the AC temperature less than 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, yeah, next, a uh, high physical security. So high physical security in the sense, anyhow, as you know that already, the data center, uh, we can store the data that is very sensitive data. Am I right? Sensitive data in the sense, we should provide a uh, high physical security. Unauthorized persons should not enter into the data center. Okay. So unauthorized person should not enter into the data center. So we have to provide high physical security. If we maintain our own data center, that is the story I am telling. Okay. Next. So this is the disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in the sense, for example, this is the data center, right? This is the data center. Uh, assume that if you are managing only single data center, okay, uh, it got corrupted. It got corrupted. Total data center got corrupted. If it is got corrupted, then whatever the data we have managed, everything will get banished. I mean, we have lost the data. So we do not have the data. We do not have the option to recover as well. So to maintain, what is that? Same data in multiple location, we need to maintain another thing called disaster recovery. So another backup data center. If this data center is collapsed, another data center should be there to recover the data. So it should not affect it to your business. Am I right? So uh, if you are maintaining single data center, that is not enough. We, ha we also have to implement disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in the sense, recover the data if any unexpected events are occurred. You know, right? I think in the year of 2000, in the year of 2000 or 2001, there is a World Trade Center collapse in the US. Why these terrorists are targeting World Trade Center? Why? Because Indian, uh, sorry, US economy, okay, US all financial system, they are storing on the data center. That's why they have collapsed. What is that? Uh, World Trade Center. Even though they have collapsed, uh, the US did not last even single record. Single record in a sense. So whatever the debits and credits provided by uh, US, they haven't lost such related data. Why? Because they're already maintaining, what is that? Disaster recovery, another data center. Even the World Trade Center are collapsed by terrorists, they haven't lost any data, only physical damage of that building. That's it. Okay, same way 
to maintain our data safe and secure, we need to maintain what is that disaster recovery. Okay, yeah, to build another same data center again, it is cost. Again, it is cost. Okay, yeah, next. Other thing is, we need more time, more expense to build infrastructure. I said, right? So, if you would like to build few servers, uh, it will take minimum seven to 10 days, still in real time. Okay, because of all these challenges, entire IT industry looking towards cloud, 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 cloud. Clear? So, let me summarize the point what we have discussed so far. Okay, what is the infrastructure? What is the cloud? What are the challenges are there to maintain our own data center? Okay, next. Now you people tell me what is the cloud? Cloud is generally nowadays it is generic term. Okay, if you go for anywhere, uh, people are telling that cloud, 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 cloud. Okay, now what is the cloud? Now you people tell me. Yeah, direct, uh, we can say Nadal Satya is going to be visited Hyderabad uh, uh, Microsoft campus tomorrow. Okay, they are marketing about public uh, cloud, cloud, cloud. Why cloud? Why should we go for cloud? They are in detail providing in seminars. Day before yesterday, Noida. I think yesterday also in Delhi, tomorrow is going to be visited in Microsoft office in Hyderabad. They are going to launch fourth largest data center in Hyderabad that will be ready by 2025, 25. Okay, so uh, why these uh, corporate CEOs are marketing like cloud, cloud, cloud? Why cloud? Can you tell me anyone? What is the cloud? Anyone? Uh, to store and retrieve the data from everywhere, like yeah, uh, okay. the internet. Yes. So simply I can say cloud is nothing but collection of, what is that? Resources. I am repeating, what is the cloud? Cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud. Okay, so this is the cloud, assume that. In the cloud, they have deployed all the services, whatever the required for enterprise environment, okay, all the services are at single place. As per your requirement, just access and consume that, that's it. Okay, yeah, next, what is the cloud? I am repeating, cloud is nothing but collection of remote services, and access them over the internet is called cloud computing. Okay, remote services in a sense, for your organization, environment, whatever the things are there, everything they have placed in the cloud. For example, you need artificial intelligence. Yes, you can access it. I need to create one server, access it. Yes, do it. Okay, if you need implement machine learning, yes, implement it. That service is already there. And uh, if you need uh, uh, access and deploy the web apps, yes, access and host it. All these things are happening within span of minutes. Okay, here you need not uh, manage your own infrastructure. You need not worry about disaster recovery. You need not worry about uh, infrastructure configuration related information. Everything managed by, what is that? Cloud vendor. Okay, so this is the exact definition provided by uh, NIST. What is the cloud? Cloud is nothing but it is model of convenient on-demand network access. Based on your demand, anytime, anywhere, you can access those services. Okay, so where we can provision the network server storage applications that can be rapidly provisioned and with minimal management, that is called cloud computing. If you feel that that is complicated, very simple, okay, cloud computing is nothing but collection of remote services, just access them over the internet is called cloud computing. Okay, right, yeah, next. Now, in the cloud computing, there are three types of service models. 
okay what are they guys any idea so private cloud and public and hybrid cloud service models one is as infrastructure as a service okay one is infrastructure as a service platform as a service. service yes okay pass pass in the sense platform as a service okay pass what is the software as a service why they have categorized into different uh, three types of cloud service deployment models okay one is as as in the sense infrastructure they will provide the infrastructure application deployment and development should be managed by yourself okay for example you would like to deploy one java application okay for that you need to build five servers yes go ahead and build five servers within span of a minute then on top of it to host java application what we have to do Install web servers, WebLogic, WebSphere, or JBoss, Apache Tomcat server. On top of it, host your Java application. Then that should be managed by yourself. Okay. The organization, I mean cloud vendor, just provide the virtual machines. Then remaining management should be taken care by yourself. Why? Because application is yours, management is yours. That is what infrastructure as a service. clear for example after one year your business is not good okay then go and destroy it at this moment okay till whatever the things we have consumed just pay for that that is what infrastructure as a services okay next platform as a services okay what is the platform as a services any idea so the name itself it is describing that platform platform in a sense um, they are providing platform and run time for example you have to deploy one java application a java code is ready with you okay that entire environment provided by vendor that we will call it as platform as a services for example they have built already environment okay so with the pre install and configuration of the web server as well for example you would like to deploy one java application then to deploy the java application whatever the environment is required all that it is in pre setup just go and deploy the your application so here you need not worry about installation and configuration management network monitoring everything would be taken care by vendor just you have to take care about deploy the application deployment of application it doesn't matter just you can drag and drop your application files so they are providing run time and platform you need not worry about management okay that is what infrastructure as a services clear yeah next now uh, uh, next thing is saas okay so in our day to day life in our day to day activities which we are performing in organization already we are entering into the software as a service could you please tell me best example for software as a service anyone uh, like gmail oh, yeah gmail. very good so microsoft yes o365 oh, is there yes office 365 is the success product in the market no other products are there to beat office 365 okay office 365 it has around 30 services okay nothing has to be installed in our device okay everything we can do it using browser all uh, to do all you need only internet connectivity okay best example uh, you are using ms teams am i right okay who is managing by uh, ms teams are you managing are your organization managing no it is managed by microsoft yes sir no we have ms teams outlook okay uh, sharepoint 
okay uh, screen okay next also we have uh, dynamic crm dynamic crm okay uh, sorry crm next also we have ms word ms uh, ppt outlook everything uh, all these components are managed by microsoft okay you need not install all these components in your device everything can be accessible in the browser itself okay yeah this is what software as a services okay see guys these are the components provided by office 365 now admin bookings calendar compliance uh, dynamics uh, excel form okay analytics one drive okay one note okay next uh, outlook people planner power apps power automation power bi all these things are managed by microsoft you need not worry about manage these things this is about what software as a services okay so this is the one side is enough to differentiate between on premises and cloud have a look uh, this is the on premises these are what cloud computing now tell me in on premises to perform all these things networking storage okay next operating system installation and configuration middleware runtime application to perform all these things we required one thing what was that any idea just now i said to maintain all these own data center and, yeah we required our own dc data center that is what on premises next in the cloud if you go for infrastructure as a service see guys carefully observe the things which are highlighted with red color that will be taken care by vendor. Okay, now would you like to deploy Windows operating system or Linux? That is totally depends on business requirement. Okay, some projects may require, I would like to build five servers with Windows operating system. Some same, another project, they would like to deploy five servers with Linux operating system. Yes, you can choose the operating system on top of whatever the types of application you would like to host it. Yes, go ahead and host it. Okay, yeah, that is about what infrastructure as a services. Next platform as a service in the sense I said, right? Runtime, okay, and the platform they have provided, just you have to take care about your application. You least bother about it, what type of application you are going to host it. In our hand, if you have Java, yes, Java rediment environment is there. If you would like to host PHP, Python, Ruby, .NET, any type of application, yes, there is a rediment environment, go ahead and deploy it. Deployment is a not big challenge. Just drag and drop the files. How we people are drag and drop the files from your local to OneDrive or Google Drive. Okay, there are different ways to host the application. I will show you how to do that. Next, software is a service. See, nothing is in your hand. Everything managed by the vendor. Just you have to consume it, whatever they have provided. That's it. Okay, that is about what? A difference between on-premises and cloud computing. Okay, next. See, so uh, this is the types of cloud what are the types of cloud one is public private hybrid what is the public guys generic term right what is the public accessible by all yeah the resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world is called public do you agree i am repeating what is the public? The resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world is called public. Okay, for example, I have created one virtual mission. If I share username and password with you, you can see it anywhere in the world, then can communicate my mission and perform the activities. 
okay that is about what public cloud okay private in the sense in the organization yes the resources can be accessible within the corporate network is called private for example you are working in tcs okay so what we will do we will go to the office and uh, we will connect it to tcs provided vpn VPN in a sense, virtual private network, then it will establish it to client network. Then we will able to access what? All client related applications, other services. The moment when you disconnect the VPN or coming out from the organization, then will we able to communicate from our local home network? No. Am I right? That is what? Private network. Hybrid in the sense, you know, right? Hybrid keyword nowadays in IT, we are asking about hybrid model, hybrid model. What does it mean? Hybrid in the sense? Working the combination. Days. Combination of public and private. And private is called hybrid. Same way, uh, in our generic words, two days work from home, three days work from home is uh, office. The combination, we will call it as what? Hybrid model. Am I right? Same way here also same. Okay, few of the applications are running in public and some of the applications are running private. If we establish the connection between these two and access overall things that we will call it as what? Hybrid. Okay, but hybrid it is costly and sensitive and more uh, flexible and secure as well. Also, it is high cost. I will let you know how to do the tunnel later. Yeah, next. Now, uh, to provide cloud computing, there are many vendors are there. Am I right? What are they? Any idea? One is Microsoft Azure. Yeah, Microsoft Azure. Azure. AWS. Yeah, AWS. second AWS. one AWS. Third one GCP. Cloud. GCP. Yeah, GCP, Google Cloud. IBM. Yeah, Oracle Cloud. Next, fourth, fifth one, IBM Cloud. IBM. I can say IBM Bluemix. Okay, next, sixth one, Alibaba. Okay, also we have OpenStack. Okay, we have n number of cloud vendors are there to provide cloud computing technology. Out of them, okay, if you consider cloud market is 100%, okay, these two, okay, Microsoft Azure and AWS, they occupied 80%, remaining all 20%. Okay, so 80% occupied by AWS and Microsoft Azure, remaining all GCP, Oracle, IBM, okay, Alibaba, OpenStack, just their percentage in the world is just 20%. Okay, so why Microsoft Azure, why not AWS, okay? Uh, yeah, Microsoft will say, I am the market leader. AWS will say, I am the market leader. Okay, what is the between both of them? Why should we go for Microsoft Azure? Why not AWS? And what are the services are very flexible in Azure? What are the things are not there in AWS? That all we will discuss it in detail. Okay, yeah, first thing, what is the Azure? See why they have mentioned Azure keyword? Simply they can mention Microsoft Cloud, right? instead of Microsoft Cloud, why they have mentioned Azure? What is the uh, meaning of Azure? Any idea? Have you tried out any time? Okay, so this word first suggested and Microsoft Azure implemented by first thing, Nadal Satya. The Azure Cloud Computing Initiate behind that is Nadal Satya. Okay, so initially, uh, Azure in the sense, blue color sky. You can go ahead and Google uh, Azure in the sense that is blue color sky. In the sky itself, we will have the cloud. That is the meaning behind that they have mentioned this keyword. So initially, Microsoft Azure logo is, this is the one. Blue color clouds, where they have mentioned just words. Initially, Microsoft uh, introduced that Azure into the market the initial logo is this is the one now they have changed slowly okay so what is the microsoft azure any idea azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services note it down what is the microsoft azure azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services 
where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through global network data centers is called Microsoft Azure. Okay, this is the exact definition. This definition provided by Microsoft, not by me, as it is, I copied and pasted it here. Okay, what is the Microsoft Azure? Microsoft Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services. This is the interview question. Okay, when you attend uh, Microsoft itself, you will get this question. What is the Azure? Azure is a comprehensive, comprehensive in the sense, set of, group of, all enterprise features. Okay. Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through global network data centers. Is called Microsoft Azure. Okay, yeah, next. When Microsoft Azure came into the picture, okay, Microsoft Azure came into the picture in the year of 2010. Okay, that time we will call it as Windows Azure. Windows Azure, it supports only Microsoft related applications. Okay, Max, they are supporting only Microsoft related applications. Later, in the year of 2014, okay, they introduce new deployment model called ARM. ARM in the sense Azure Resource Manager. And they renamed Windows Azure as a, what is that? Microsoft Azure. Sorry. Okay, Microsoft Azure. Okay, so this is about what? Uh, finally, now we, we, we are calling it as Microsoft officially in the market. Okay, yeah, so this is the one slide. So in the 20, 20, 2010, they introduced, what is that? Windows Azure, later in the year of 2014, they renamed Windows Azure as a Microsoft Azure. This is the history of the Microsoft Azure. Okay, I am telling why Microsoft Azure, why not AWS is, Microsoft has around 200 plus data center space. Around the world, they have 200 plus data centers. No other cloud is there uh, which has these many data centers. Okay, this is the whole biggest and the first organization which they have installed the, these many data centers. Next. Uh, see, that is what directly they have mentioned. Azure has more global regions than any other cloud provider. Here, other cloud provider in the sense, I can say AWS. Okay, it is offering scalable. Bring your application closer to customers. Bring your application closer to customers in the sense, uh, we can provide better performance. We can provide better service. If any service is down in the same, our local data center, they can fix on immediate basis, okay? In order to provide high availability, so we have another data center where we can migrate, automatically migrate our services to another data center in order to meet 99.99% SLA. Okay, these are advantages are there about Microsoft Azure. Clear? So uh, they have mentioned 60 plus region and around 150, 140 countries, they have their own data centers. Okay, clear? This is about what? Azure information. Next. So why should we go for Azure? Why not AWS? Just know a given few points. Remaining all, see, uh, it is low cost. Compared to AWS, Azure is less cost. Next, instant capacity. Instant capacity in a sense, I would like to uh, increase the size or downgrade the size of VM. 
uh, downgrade the size of configuration of the app services. And every time, anytime, anywhere, uh, if you have internet connectivity, just you can do downgrade or upgrade configuration of your application. That is what instant capacity, like instant copy. Okay, yeah, next, speed and agility. Next, global reach. You know, right, your data can be distributed across the globe in a minutes. Okay, yeah, you know, right, why Microsoft and Google and Facebook, their applications are very fast, even though they have billions of customers all around the world. Why? Because they are publishing the data. They are publishing the data across the world nearest cache servers. Okay, if I access my Facebook, my request will go to nearest data center, not main data center. Okay, that is about what? They are distributing the content across the globe in a minutes. Next, it is secure. So security is doesn't a matter nowadays, they are providing high security. You will not be able to hack the data. Even though if you tapped Nadella Satya laptop directly, you will not be able to do anything. Why? Because they are uh, encrypted the data many layers. Okay, so Microsoft Azure certified around 70 plus complaints. No worries about security. Okay, yeah, this is about what? Uh, benefits of Microsoft Azure. Okay, yeah, next. So in Azure, we have around 15 plus certification papers. I said my words are very clear. Why? Because uh, Microsoft Azure is a comprehensive set of services in the sense we have web services, artificial intelligence, IoT, machine learning, Intune, Microsoft Depender, like 200 plus services they have provided. Uh, more than that, so based on your requirement, you people can consume any services. Okay, so for every technology, we have separate paper. Okay, so main thing is I can suggest uh, we have administrator. Administrator certification paper is AZ104. Okay, next, uh, Azure DevOps, I can say Azure Administration, Azure DevOps. Okay, Azure DevOps certification paper is AZ400. Same way, if we go for Azure Development, okay, here we have AZ204. Okay, next, uh, Azure Architect. Okay, Azure Architect uh, is AZ305. Uh, these are the important four certification papers are there. As I said, Azure AI, Azure Cyber Security, Azure Data Engineer, Azure Fundamentals, okay, Azure Machine Learning, uh, Azure Security, Azure Virtual. We have n number of certification papers are there, around uh, 15 to 20. Okay, but very popular, sir these four. I am going to teach you these two certification papers, Microsoft Azure Administration with DevOps. So what are the topics I am going to cover and uh, what are the subtopics are there irrespective of these two, okay, that all we will present it in next session, okay, in tomorrow's session. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free and ask me. I will happy to help you. Yeah. Covers, yeah, uh, Azure yeah. Fundamentals 900. Is yeah, Azure Fundamentals, Azure 900, that already included in Azure 104. You need not worry about it. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Syllabus, no screen. Sorry? Syllabus. Yeah, yeah, that's what. So, whatever the content I am going to present, I am going to explain for this course. I will uh, I will display it in tomorrow's session. Sir, I have a few questions. Yeah. How was the career growth, sir? Yeah, Azure has a lot of demand in the marketplace. Uh, for three years experience, how much we can expect this salary? 
forget about salaries and all. Just learn and enter into the market. That is okay. And, okay. So getting the salary that all depends on how much package you are uh, drawing in one company. Many parameters are there. Okay. Yeah. Any coding is required, sir? So administration, it is no coding is required. That's what we have separate paper development. Okay. Uh, for development, you should have proficient in uh, uh, like java.net so that you can move to development things. Okay. Azure administration, the DevOps, this is total configuration and the configuration implementation. No coding is required. So some scripting part is required. Like that I will take. Uh, compared to Azure, uh, AWS has more services, sir. Uh, sure. ah, no, both are same, guys. If okay. I ask you, BMW car is good or Ferrari car is good, means what you will say? Both are good. They have their own mm -hmm. isolated features. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, sir, after finishing the course, uh, if I want something like a, in like our CV, can we get some help in that as well? Like. Uh, I will provide the sample series and the help you out how to do that CV preparation. Uh, I will give the demo. How, how, what is the C I will share these sample versions. You people can modify according to that and publish it. Okay. Answer if uh, like uh, whatever the lecture and suppose like we, we will get this PPT or like. Yeah, for every session, uh, I will share the PPTs and uh, uh, PDFs, uh, okay, recordings, everything I will share with you. No need to worry. Okay. Uh, and the session will every day, like uh, seven days in a week or like? Uh, uh, five days in a week. Okay, five days Monday to week. Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, you people can practice it. Again, Monday, we'll start it. Okay, okay. Yeah. The course duration is two months, okay? So one month, uh, Microsoft Azure administration, other uh, other uh, next one month is DevOps. Okay. So one month in the sense like uh, uh, hours basis, how many hours will cover? Every day, one hour. Even Saturday, Sunday also? Yeah, if I take the Saturday and Sunday, yes, I will take uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday also, one month. Okay, I mean, can we consider like a 30 days uh, for an Azure admin and 30 days for an Azure DevOps, right? Yes. One okay. month Azure admin, one month Azure dev. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Sir, are, are you going to cover real time scenarios, sir? Yes, I am going to cover only real time scenarios. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. And this uh, certification purpose, uh, so we will be getting some help, sir. I mean, uh, sorry, because for certification and all, we have to pay uh, extra and take the exams, right? Yeah, that is the external. Uh, that certification paper, uh, that all I will give the information, guys, in tomorrow's session. Actually, there is the Hello. option. Can you hear me? Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes. Yes, my voice is clear, right, guys? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's audible. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead, Renke. Okay. And if I sir, miss any classes, we can get the uh, recordings, right? Yes, anyhow, every day we'll, we'll be receiving the recordings. Okay, okay. That's good, sir. Are you going to cover uh, Docker and Kubernetes in this session? Yes, yes. Uh, in Azure DevOps, I will be covering Docker and Kubernetes. AKS, oh, Kubernetes oh. services. Linux? Yeah, Linux initial I will cover. Okay, thanks. Yeah. So in Azure administration, it's like uh, uh, server administration. It will cover storage, infrastructure maintenance, uh, creating of VMs. Like that, it will be covered? Or? Yes, creating the VMs, deploying the application, okay, monitoring, troubleshooting, okay, everything, guys. Only Azure. So using the Terraform, you can uh, build this on uh, like you can download. Through 
Hello. Uh, come again to your question, Ashok. Uh, like uh, now, we are man in, in website. We are manually creating VMs, storage, networking, all this stuff we are doing in Azure portal. By using the Terraform, we can. Uh, you you will say by using Terraform, how can we do all the yes. first? Uh, yes, we can do Terraform. Creating storage account services and all, we can deploy using Terraform templates. That can be covered in this Azure DevOps. Yes, yes, yes. That will be covered in Azure DevOps. That's what I said. No, whatever the topics I am going to cover, everything I will present it in next session. Okay. And next one thing, session. how it is different, you know, work wise, Azure admin and DevOps engineer. Like, you know, DevOps engineer having many things to do, but admin part already. You yeah, said, DevOps in the sense, automation, guys. The name itself, it is describing that development and operations. If you merge it together, that we will call it as DevOps. Okay, but so like admin work is totally different, it will be there, right? Compared to DevOps. Ah, no, it is same. Admin work is based for DevOps. See, if you go for any cloud computing, you least bother about it, whether you will go for AWS or Google or uh, uh, Azure. So mm -hmm. admin part is mandatory, guys, for cloud. Okay, okay. Okay. So that knowledge Next, will be more you'll beneficial. Be acting too. as an architect, you will be acting as a data engineer, you will be acting as a network, you will be acting as a DevOps engineer. Uh, forget about them. First base is administrator. Without learning administrator, if you jump into some other things, again, you have to come from scratch. That is damn sure. Okay. And I think somehow it is related to AWS as well, because some of my friends, they are working, but they took, you know, that some knowledge or some training outside. Yeah. And they learn AWS, but finally they are working as an Azure admin only, Azure DevOps, not as AWS. So it's, uh, I think, quite... is very popular. Yeah, yeah. So it's mostly similar, I think, right? work wise or some terminology will be different, but of course both are cloud only. How you give him the example, like you know, Ferrari is good or BMW. So almost same only, right? The terminology yeah, yeah, is. Uh, and two months discussion... the course will be finished or it will be counted here already, already you said, right? I think two months you said the days, right? The classes timing. So it yeah. will go around three months, definitely. No, two months, guys. Okay. Okay. For DevOps, it is required coding. Right? For uh, no, DevOps. configuration, little bit of the Terraform uh, to understand is required. So anyhow, that will I will take care about it. You need not. Uh, do we get the course content? What are the things covered for yeah, Azure? Sure, so, sure. I will share with you guys. Yeah. So the second one, uh, if we are taking uh, Azure administration, so after completion of this, uh can we go for architect azure architect yes happily you can go for architect so which one is in demand actually uh, so now in the market, say... i can say administration with the webs guys so architect people maximum depends on your experience guys okay for example architect how it will be see for example i am the client okay all my servers are in non premises now I am looking for some cost saving. You are the architect. Hey, I would like to migrate my servers into Microsoft Azure just to provide our solutions. So you have to confirm if I migrate the servers into Azure, how much I can save the cost? What are the benefits they are providing? Okay, if we get any service down, what would be the resolution? Okay, that all you have to provide it. Okay. Is the architect job. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to know all these things, administrator is mandatory. And one more thing okay. that, you know, that uh, getting job into like Azure field, like cloud, either admin or DevOps, is it mandatory to having certification? Uh, not required, guys. Okay. An so internal switch heart is possible in already... the sense, gate pass. Okay. Yeah. Certification in a sense, like a gate pass. Uh, I am the profession in this technology. I am the right person uh, to do this job. That's it. Okay, okay. Yeah. An internal switch is also the bit because already I'm working, having that, you know, I'm in the DBA part. I wanted to move internally first, later on I'll switch in other organizations. So it is, it will work, right? 
yeah, yes. so now cloud is mandatory guys whether you are working as a uh, database administrator or windows administrator some storage administrator or anything now digital market is mandatory that's why i think 10 days back uh, sundar pichai given the one seminar now is the nadal satya providing the seminars all over the countries okay now going forward cloud is mandatory all business taking care by these two only azure and aws no worry on that no query about it so gcp is like far behind right now and it is not leading because as you ah, at this is... point uh, nothing that doesn't have much demand in the market so most mm-hmm. of the market i said right 80% they have acquired microsoft and aws why i am saying microsoft is leader is so many components they are going to implement many changes are coming the changes are implementing drastically so now my azure market share is like anything you can google it i am not telling as a faculty i am working as a so happily you can get more information so how many years of experience we can keep if we, after the completion of this course guys for the, uh, for real time people no worries actually you can keep for 4 to 5 years okay happily they can hire you why because already you have real time experience uh, for newly enter into the organization they have to keep minimum that is what 3 to 5 so they have to learn many things that's it and so this you are already working as a devops right or as your admin right in some way sorry you are already working as a, a as your admin or like devops i am working as an architect guys okay okay yeah okay. definitely there will help for, for us also to yeah. getting the real time things yeah. right okay okay thanks for your time have a great yeah, day yeah. i have a question uh, actually i have the content but uh, when i yeah. reach to other institute they ask uh, that it is the uh, almost six month course then how you uh, finish yeah, it in uh, within depends on you guys okay? Uh, okay mine is my training is totally different okay i will take only one batch okay so some people will drag like one year that doesn't look good if i drag like six months or three months finally you will lose the interest now market a uh, lot of changes are coming so whatever the feature is there today after one month that is uh, modified and some way they are keeping okay it is not it is not a we are not studying like btech or mca like years and years okay, okay. So. complete the course as soon as possible learn basics and enter into the organization that is the basic if you learn everything is a perfect that course that implementation is not happening in the market nowadays now technology is like running like super fast okay so my words are very clear uh, i will explain to us this is totally real time okay uh, i am whatever i am going to explain if you practice it i can write it down bond 100% you will get the job great sir thank you yeah okay and the timings will be con- only it timings will not be changed 6:30 to 7:30 uh so that is the fixed time that for now okay you can fix evening you don't have any batch uh, shikhar ha uh, and that's what i am telling i will take only one batch that's okay it. even i have uh, office timings mm-hmm. and all right i have to cover that's what i am not going to run many batches only one batch Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks for your time. Thank you, sir. For Thank you. Time. Bye. Thank Have you. a great day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, I hope you can see my screen now, right, guys? Everyone. Yes. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay.
So in last session, just we had discussed about what overview of Microsoft Azure. Now tell me what is the Microsoft Azure? Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where IT professionals or developers can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through global network data centers. It's called Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me when Microsoft Azure came into the picture? Any idea? First, in the year of 2010. Okay, yeah, during the time we will call it as Windows Azure. Am I right? Next, later in the year of 2014, Microsoft introduced one new feature called ARM. Then they renamed it to what is that? Microsoft Azure. So now, officially, we are calling it as what? Microsoft Azure. Actually, we are calling it as Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah. Next. So, for Azure related, if you need any certificate information, just go to Microsoft.com. This is the official site. Microsoft.com. Okay. Now, uh, at end of the URL, just type learning. Okay, yeah, next. Okay, these are the different types of certifications. We have administrators, artificial intelligence, okay, DevOps engineer, data engineer, data scientist, security engineer, solution architect, other one is what, developer. Okay, I am looking for administrator with DevOps. Same way we have developer, solution, architect. Okay, now uh, just to go for administrator. See, uh, Azure administrator certification paper is what? 104, okay? Uh, just search it. And this is the 104, AZ104 Microsoft Azure administration. See, if you observe, we have a lot of certificates. For every technology, we have one certification paper. Okay, so uh, administrator certification number is AG104. Just click on it. Okay, here you will get the syllabus. You people may have doubt that what is the certification cost. This is $165, guys. This is uh, $165 USD. Dollars. Now change it to Indian currency. Yeah, 4,800 including GST, it will go to 6,000. Okay, so Microsoft Azure related any certification cost is 6,000 including GST. You can add 18% GST uh, for this 4,800, around you'll get 5,900, around 6,000. Okay, yeah, next. And this is about what? Microsoft Azure administration. Okay, yeah, next. Go back. Okay, again, I am looking for what? AZ400, just a type 400. This is Microsoft Azure DevOps. Okay, if you are not getting just highlight Azure, Okay, now type uh, 400. Yeah, this is what AZ 400 design and implementation Microsoft DevOps solution. So this is also same cost, $165. Okay, if we convert it into Indian currency, that is 4,800 rupees, including GST and all, it will go to 6,000. Okay, yeah. So this is the certification paper. This is the certification paper. And this is the syllabus. What it is saying? Uh, configure and process 15%, designing implementation source control 20%, and the release management 45%, uh, 
uh, security and compliance, 15%, uh, instrumentation strategy, 15%. This is uh, syllabus of Azure DevOps. Okay, so these many papers are there for our Azure. So we have the, uh, we have artificial intelligence, administrator, developer, architect, data engineer, okay, machine learning, okay, cyber security. So all different types of certifications are there based on your requirement. We can proceed and learn the technology and get it just certified. Okay, get it certified. This is about what? Overview of Microsoft Azure certification papers. I will share this link, uh, just keep it with you for your reference. Okay, this is the certification URL. Next, as I said, I am going to cover AZ104. Okay, uh, Azure Administrator. Okay, AZ104. Okay, next Azure DevOps. These two are, uh, combination is very popular in the market. I am giving AZ DevOps 400 and uh, uh, AZ104. Okay, right, yeah, next. Next, have a look. Uh, I'm going to present one PPT where I have included all models and sub models. Let's see, I will open. Okay, yeah, this is the certification paper syllabus. Now, uh, already clearly mentioned that uh, this is 104 certification paper. Now, first thing, module one. Module one about what? Introduction, introduction to cloud computing. So what are the different models are there? Advantage of the cloud computing. Who are the vendors for Azure Cloud? Who are the vendors for cloud computing? Why cloud, why not? These topics we have discussed in last session. Okay, that is the model one. Model two, <coughs> Azure platform. So we will go through Azure portal. Okay, so in Azure portal, as I said, more than 200 services Microsoft has providing. So out of them, what are the services we can consume as per our business requirement? You know, right, if you consider one project, the project may require two VMs. Another project may require artificial intelligence service. Okay, from different projects, they are expecting something data science related services. All these services, how we can create. That all we will discuss it in model two. Okay, also we will go through that Azure portal. Azure portal has uh, many options, okay? Uh, how we can disable few options, how to get frequently used services, that all we will see in model two, okay? Model three is the subscriptions. What is the subscription, guys? Any idea, generally? If we subscribe something, like if we take any services and we go for that services and we pay for that then it's a kind of subscription yes correct simply i can say subscription is nothing but license yes okay subscription yeah. is nothing but license yeah. so microsoft providing n number of uh, subscription versions okay first thing i can say uh, azure free trade what is that azure free trade that you are going to use now Next, uh, we can, we will have pay as you go model. Pay as you go model. Okay, yeah, next. Okay, yeah, next. Uh, Visual Studio Enterprise. Visual Studio Enterprise. Next, also we have uh, enterprise subscription. 
Azure Enterprise. What is that? Azure Enterprise. Okay. Uh, Visual Studio Developer Edition. Visual Studio Developer Edition. Like that, we have around the 20 plus certification. Oh, sorry, around 20 plus subscriptions. Okay. Yeah. Next, uh, we have student license. Okay. Visual Studio Enterprise, Visual Studio Developer, Visual Studio Students. Okay. We have a number of subscriptions. So as per your business requirement, we can choose one of the subscription, then we will host all project related services. Okay, yeah, next free trial, uh, I will let you know how to subscribe for free trial. The free trial valid is just for 30 days. Okay, just for 30 days. Okay, yeah, next. Next. Now, uh, this is about what? Free trial subscription information. Okay, yeah. Next, what is the advantage of these subscriptions, sir? One organization may have n number of subscriptions. Please, please remember, they are bullet points. One organization may have n number of subscriptions. Okay, yeah, uh, I could see in my project around uh, 30 plus subscriptions. What are the advantages? For example, uh, we are all working in one account. One project may require uh, for one year. After one year, they are going to destroy it. So they will take pay as you go model. Whatever the services which they are going to deploy, they can consume it for one year. After one year, they will go and delete the subscription. The moment they deleted this subscription, whatever the services which we have deployed underlying this subscription, everything will get deleted. So budget will be stopped. So we are away from that project. Just we are saving, just consuming it. The project is over. We have destroyed the services. Okay, that is how our organizations will use these subscriptions. If you need three years, five years, or 10 years subscription, they will go for Azure Enterprise things. Okay, that all depends on business requirement. Next, uh, another model, create storage account and store the files. Okay, what is the storage account? What is the alternative of storage? Uh, you people are frequently using, right, to store your personal data, images, etc., etc. What was that? Maybe well, I, hard drive, pen drive. Yeah, yeah, we can say one drive, Google Drive. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Same way, Microsoft introduced storage account where we can store TBs and TBs of data. Okay, you know, right? Uh, you people are watching my. Uh, sorry, uh, you people are watching Amazon Prime videos. Am I right? Amazon Prime video. All the videos, whichever you are watching, whichever they have placed on Amazon Prime subscription. So all these videos, they are storing in AWS storage. In AWS, there is a service called S3. What is that, guys? S3. S3 means simple storage service. Okay. So earlier, uh, Netflix. Netflix is the big customer for AWS. Okay, uh, in Netflix, whatever the web series, all videos, movies, entertainment, everything, they are storing, Netflix people are storing AWS storage itself. Now, Netflix is moving to Microsoft Azure. Do you know that? How many of you know? No idea, sir. Yeah, Netflix uh, is going to consume Azure storage. Okay, uh, we got news one month back. So Netflix are going to owned by Microsoft in future. That uh, that deal also going to be happen. Okay, yeah. Next, uh, in our OTT platform, I can say uh, Reliance Geo movie cinema. Okay, entertainment series, okay, a music, all videos, Reliance people, Reliance Geo people, they are storing our Azure storage itself. 
okay yeah next that is about storage account what is the storage account storage account is a main space where we can store structure or unstructured data unstructured data in the sense movies if we have 1 lakh movies to store 1 uh, one lakh into each movie assume that hd 4k ultra hd video it is around 6 gb 1 uh, lakh into 6 it will go for around 60 terabyte or uh, 600 terabyte storage right same way um, to store such kind of videos unstructured data we will go and use storage account okay streaming now uh, here in microsoft uh, we have different types of what services based on our requirement we will proceed and consume the services we have storage blob file table queues etc etc okay yeah next module 5 implementing and managing the networking you know right uh, if you are real time professionals what you are doing your client data centers are there somewhere else maybe new york or singapore or malaysia so you are sitting in from your hyderabad office you are connecting to vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network the moment when you connect the vpn it is establishing the connection to what is that your client data centers then you will able to access the data services application content so how we can create our own vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network how can we host those services within the private network and access them within the network that all we will see in networking topic so what is the virtual network what is the subnet how can you enable the rules okay ports okay next how to associate these ports with particular network okay that all we will see in networking topic that is model 5 next model 6 implementing virtual machine so this is the main thing uh, without virtual machines there is no azure project not only azure any project there there is no any other projects without deploying virtual machine why because uh, virtual machines are playing vital role you have to deploy the virtual machines on top of it host the applications okay so how can we deploy the virtual machines okay next in the virtual machines uh, we have we have to configure ip address or assign dynamic and static ips how we can assign that we will see model 6 okay model 7 i will show you how to deploy the virtual machine with windows operating system okay for this windows operating system how to add the disk how to extend at the disk how to troubleshoot if we get any issues in os disk okay that we will see in module 7 okay module 8 i will show you how to create the vm with the linux operating system on top of it how to host one java application you know right there are different flavors of linux what are they one is red hat second one suse come on third one oracle linux fourth one ubuntu define we have many things okay uh, linux are open source okay how to create one machine with linux operating system on top of it how can you host one java application that we will see in module 8 okay yeah in module 9 uh, implementing azure app services what is that in module 9 implementing azure app services okay so so far whatever i have discussed it, that is i a a yes what is the full form of the ias infrastructure as a services just they are providing the service servers just we are consuming them that's it okay so far whatever the model site covered that is what infrastructure as a services from here i am calling it as pass platform as a services 
now tell me uh, what is the infrastructure as a service just we can create this vm with the windows operating system within span of a minute only minute on top of it whether you are going to deploy ias application or java application or dotnet or php that all depends on your requirement clear guys okay yeah next pass in the sense see here vendor is providing only virtual machines what about environment okay environment in the sense one second yeah environment in the sense what does it mean runtime environment we have to set up okay for example uh, you would like to deploy one java application to install uh, to deploy java application what is the web servers are required guys any idea tomcat yeah Apache Tomcat, Apache Tomcat, or else we can go for WebLogic or WebSphere or JBus. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So the installation of Tomcat, Apache, WebLogic, or WebSphere, we have to take care. You have to install on top of the VM and configure it. Then configure the port numbers, configure the DNS, configure the uh, application subfolders, everything that we have to do that. Okay, when you go for pass, as I said, the name itself, it is describing that pass in the sense platform as a services. So total environment provided by the vendor, I mean Microsoft, just we have to deploy the application. How to deploy the application that is very simple. We have multiple method to host the services in Azure. Okay. So first thing, uh, what is that app services? App services are ready-made environment, just where we can host our applications. Our application in a sense, anything, any type of application. Okay, uh, that's why I said .NET, Java, PHP, okay, uh, web apps, mobile applications, gaming application, anything. Next, module 10, planning and implementing disaster recovery i said right there is a vm all of a sudden someone deleted or it got collapsed or it got corrupted okay then in that case how can you recover the vm that we will see in module 10 backup and recovery operations this we will call it as what the disaster recovery okay next uh, module 11 planning and implementing azure database Okay, uh, see guys, generally we have two types of database for Microsoft SQL Server. One is Microsoft SQL Server that is on-premises. Okay, next Azure SQL Server that is cloud, Azure cloud I can say. Okay, in on-premises SQL Server, first you have to purchase the license download the software and perform the installation and configuration. When you go for Azure SQL Server, it comes under what? Pass, platform as a services. Just directly you can go ahead and create the store procedures, tables, synonyms, and consume it for your application. Okay, so how to create uh, Azure SQL Server database in Azure? and how to create the tables, how to establish the connection from app service to database that all we will see in module 11. Okay, for example, .NET application is there, which may require to communicate database. Yes, how can you communicate? How to pull the data from SQL Server to .NET application that I will write the code that is C sharp code. I will show you in module 11. Okay, module all implementing pass services we have different tabs like uh, um, a logic app function app okay uh, and also we can host uh, web services okay wcf urls how to do that that we will see in model 12. okay model 13 configuring metrics metrics in a sense monitoring Okay, for example, there is a one 
virtual machine if cpu utilization is crossed 80% you should know if cpu utilization is crossed 80% then it should trigger an alert okay uh, if virtual machine is down or stopped then you should trigger the alert okay how to monitor uh, all services in azure how to configure the alerts for every service in azure that we will see module 13 okay yeah module 14 active directory so active directory is a heart of the microsoft product guys i am repeating short form we will call it as aad aad in the sense azure active directory why i am telling this is heart of the microsoft product is without active directory there is no product okay for example you people are using ms teams in our offices right nowadays without ms teams there is no organization i hope am i right ms teams <clears throat> when you open ms teams and searching for your colleague name or your project manager name names are displaying those names are coming from where any idea anyone Active directory. Active directory only. Okay, you know, right? Office 365 component. I said around 30 plus components. Okay, total Office 365 has been integrated with what? AAD only, guys. Azure Active Directory. That's what uh, to consume SQL Server, to consume Office 365, to integrate some other product uh, with your users or enterprise consumers. Okay, uh, we have to use. Azure Active Directory. No other directories are there to beat Azure Active Directory. Guys. Even when you go for AWS, AWS people should implement Azure Active Directory. They have their own directories, but very popular is Active, Azure Active Directory itself. Next, so managing the permissions. Okay, permission in the sense, see you are the DB administrator. I am the Windows administrator, someone storage, someone VM administrator. So according to their rules, their roles and responsibilities, how can you manage the permission? That we will see. Uh, manage directly and cloud environment. Okay, model 16 manage resource group. Okay, resource group in the sense, collection of resources bring underlying one group is called manage resource groups okay so how can you create the resource group how to host the services under one resource group that we will see module 16. okay module 17 what is that our rbac rbac in the sense role based access control for example uh, i am i am your client there are 10 virtual machines i should perform only stop start restart the virtual machine i should not do anything okay that case how we can create custom role that we will see module 17 okay module 18 traffic manager this is load balancer what is the load balancer how to distribute incoming traffic among multiple virtual machines that we will see module 18 okay yeah next module 19 backup and restore operations I said, right, there is a virtual machine, there is a SQL server, there is a storage account, there is a web app, okay, there is a uh, some other services. By mistake or accidentally, if they would have been deleted, how to restore the, the all these services? That all we will see backup and restore operations. Okay, yeah, next. So from model 20 to remaining all, we will call it as IAAC. What is the full form of the IAC? Real time professionals. Any idea? IAC. Infrastructure as code. Yeah, infrastructure as a code. See, PowerShell, ARM templates, Terraform, these three comes under. There is that IAC. So, PowerShell and shell scripting Terraform will be there for every cloud, guys. Every cloud in the sense, uh, if you go for uh, Google or AWS, Terraform, PowerShell, Cell Scripting, these three are manual. 
Okay, the ARM template in the sense Azure Resource Manager that is native tool that can be used for our Azure Cloud Computing itself. Okay, so Terraform, uh, I can say it supports cross platform language. If you write one template in Terraform, same template can be hosted in AWS, Google, Azure, just change the providers, that's it. Okay, yeah, next, GitHub. What is the GitHub? Any idea? Frequent keyword nowadays. Code repository. Yeah, what is the GitHub, guys? To maintain project repository. repository. Yeah. Very good. Do you know uh, GitHub owned by which company? Earlier, uh, GitHub is different, where we can create a uh, number of repositories, public and private repositories. Now, GitHub owned by one company. Do you know what is that? Anyone? Mm. GitHub owned by Microsoft. Okay, GitHub is now Microsoft product. Okay, that's why, uh, see, uh, to access the Azure portal. Okay, if I type portal.azure.com, here it is showing what? Signing with GitHub. Just one year, uh, 2021 John, uh, uh, Microsoft has purchased the GitHub. Okay, yeah, so uh, how can you store your project into GitHub? Okay, so I can say for all DevOps courses, 100% they will use GitHub. Why? Because project code is there in GitHub. How to create build and release pipeline, how to automate it from scratch, we have to configure uh, in Azure DevOps or uh, open source DevOps, wherever it is, whatever it is. Okay, yeah, next. Uh, this is about what? Uh, the syllabus uh, which I am going to cover is 104. Okay, so if you have more queries, uh, happily you can go for a Microsoft official site. I said, right, uh, 104. Click on it. Here we have syllabus. Okay, uh, what they have covering, have a look. So Azure Manage Identity, this is Active Directory. Okay, uh, implementing and manage storage, just now I said. And the compute resources, this is the past services. Networking, I included. Mon monitoring, same. Uh, if you perfectly thorough on these topics, we can certify for Azure. Okay, this is the skill measure. Okay, so these certification papers are valid for two years, guys. Earlier, when you certified, it is a lifetime valid. Now things got changed. Uh, initially, uh, AZ, sorry, first certification paper is uh, 70532, guys. Next, Microsoft changed it to AZ100. Next, they changed it to AZ101. Next, they changed it to AZ103. Now in the market AZ104. These papers are valid for two to three years. You will get that, you will get it on certification itself. After that, we have to renew it. Renew it and write the uh, another exam. Okay, yeah. So everything, now all cloud services are changed. The valid of certification only two to three years, that's it. Again, you have to renew it. Right, this is uh, uh, Azure administrator story. Now I am going to discuss about Azure DevOps. Okay, so Azure DevOps nowadays is very, very, very popular. Okay, uh, why? Because Azure DevOps comes under what is that? Yes, A, A, yes. What is the full form of this as software as a services? It is like an Office 365. 
you need not worry about installation and configuration management in on premises everything would be taken care by microsoft just you'd like to know how to configure ci cd pipelines okay yeah now have a look uh, Yeah, AZ400. Okay, so in AZ400, first, uh, I said, right, starting on notes, for every paper, Azure administrator is mandatory, guys. Administrator is mandatory. You least bother about it, whether you are going to learn Azure or AWS or Google Cloud, that is totally up to you. But learn administration from there, move on to other services whichever you require depends on your career path okay so uh, for azure administration as i said uh, uh, sorry azure devops as i said uh, azure administrator is mandatory okay so same i have included including azure cloud computing and uh, what is the azure and subscription details and portal model 3 is the app services Okay, see here, when you configure the CA and the CD pipeline, CA means continuous integration, continuous deployment. The outcome, the application should be deployed in app services or, where is that? Virtual mission. Okay, yeah, so that's why I have included app services that comes under PaaS. Next, module four, what is the DevOps? Okay, Azure DevOps totally they have integrated with Azure model. Have you heard about it, Azure model? Yes or no? Now every project in the world, my words are very clear. Every project in the world they are implementing based on Azure model. Okay, what is Azure model? Any idea? It's a software development life cycle. When you are studying BTEC or MCA, you could see one paper called a uh, software development life cycle, waterfall method, you might have heard about it. Okay. Yeah, earlier, uh, we used to implement waterfall method. Now, uh, every company, every project, they are implementing Azale model, guys. That's why infrastructure also has been changed in IT industry. Do you know earlier we have cubicle structure, am I like, like this? So here one seat, here another seat, here another seat, here another seat. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Like this, you can move. Now, uh, IT infrastructure is would be like call center like this. Here they will put the chairs, systems, we have to say. What does it mean? Wherever you are sitting, it should be visible to everyone in the floor. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So that is the Azil model. Okay. So Azil model first they have implemented in automobile industry that is in Germany. So later that is implemented in our IT industry. Also. Okay. Uh, you might have heard about new keywords: Scrum Master. Okay. Sprint. User stories. You may have doubt that hey, once I join into the company, how I will, uh, how will I will get the work? How will I get the work? Through Azale model, that is DevOps, uh, Sprint, user stories, task would be created by Scrum Master. You have to fulfill the requirement. I will give you in detail. You need not worry about it. Okay, yeah, next. So in Azure DevOps, totally we have only five models. One is Azure Boards, Azure Repos, Pipeline, Artifacts, Test Plan. Only five models. Okay, so Azure DevOps first, they have implemented, what is that? Azure model. Next, Azure Repos. Okay, Azure Repos means before purchasing the GitHub, Azure should maintain their own repository, right? So they have provided repositories, Azure repositories. Using that, we can store our project code. Okay, yeah. Next model, source control, SCM, source code management. 
a source code management. So we can use Azure repos. Alternative is what GitHub. Anyhow, GitHub is Microsoft product now. So what is the GitHub? How can you push the code into GitHub? How to manage the history? How to check in, check out? Okay, uh, how to do the code reviews? That all we will discuss it in GitHub module. Okay, module eight, uh, CA. CA in the sense continuous integration. Okay, this we will call it as build pipeline. Please remember these are all important words uh, which we will discuss it in DevOps sessions. Build pipeline. Okay, next continuous deployment. This is the release pipeline. Okay, so in the release pipeline, assume that you are the manager. Before deploying the application into the productions, okay, before deploying the application into the production, once manager provide the approval, then it will go on sits in production environment. How to trigger an approval email, that all we will see in continuous deployment. This we will call it as release pipeline. Okay, yeah, next. Um, this is about what Agile methodology I will totally cover. Uh, this is totally managed by Scrum Master, how to do that, that is really helpful for you. Next, model 12, Docker fundamentals. What is that? Docker fundamentals. What is the Docker? And why should we go for Docker? How can you install the Docker on Windows machine? How can you install the Docker on Linux machine? On top of it, how to manage the containers that we'll see model 12. Model 13 AKS, Azure Kubernetes Services. What is the AKS and how can you configure the AKS? How to host our application that we will see in model 13. Okay. Yeah, so this is about what? Overview of Microsoft Azure DevOps. Okay, uh, this is the syllabus. If you have any questions, any queries, let me know. I will be happy to assist you. Any queries, any questions? So the modules which we saw, it's like many modules. So all the modules in the cover like single lecture or like it will go? Uh, no, it will extend guys. One module, it may take two to three hours. Okay, that all depends. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. You said that certification having some limitations, right? Like Azure 104 and all this. What about the fundamentally also having limitations or it is? Uh, AZ 900 is Azure fundamental. That is basic, guys. Actually, how we will get, no? Uh, I have some services in on-premises, okay? Uh, I would like to manage the services in Azure cloud and on-premises. Then which type of cloud I should go? Which type of the cloud? Hybrid cloud. Like that, the basic questions would be there. Yeah, so limitations is there for that certification? I mean, to that uh, validity? Uh, yeah, uh, Azure AZ 900. Yes, sir. If they actually, they are changing the syllabus. Yes, two years, three years validity is there for that as well. Okay. Yeah, there is a validity for all of that. Yeah. As well. Yes. Sir. I have already AZ 900 and there is a validity. Yeah. So two years it is there, right? Yeah, yeah. they are giving two years. That, After that, you have to renew or you, uh, you need to attend the, attend the exam again. Okay. So if we will give AJ104, then I don't think we need to go for AJ900, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay, I said, right, for all Azure certification papers, go to Microsoft official site. Happily, you can go ahead and verify. So uh, even after one year, 104 may be changed to 105. Are you getting? Now it is 104 is a certification number for Azure administration. It may move to 105. I am thinking after one year, guys, maybe 2024 or end of this year. Okay. In next session, tomorrow we have session. Okay. Uh, tomorrow I am going to discuss about how to subscribe for Azure Free Fire. 
okay uh, how to subscribe for azure free right uh, what all things tomorrow we have session tomorrow is saturday yeah tomorrow we have session okay 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 tomorrow we have session tomorrow i am going to show you how to subscribe for azure portal uh, that is azure free trial then i will show you how to uh, verify the azure portal we will go through the features of azure portal okay yeah any queries any doubts uh, but for AG1048, we will go through the uh, like your lecture and the material you are providing. Then that I think that will be enough, or we need to do some extra study as well. Ah, that is enough. Actually, I am going to share AG1044400 dumps. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, material for every topic, even recordings, interview questions. Uh, sample resumes, I will take care about it so you can proceed with them. Yeah. So, yeah, like I don't need to worry about like some extra thing. And uh, so I will go with the whatever you will provide, I will go with that. Yes, yeah, so that is more than enough. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yesterday, mm, you said uh, you will discuss about the job roles, all this stuff. Uh, yeah. So, end of the course, and all we will discuss about job roles, how to apply the things and all. Sir, for this uh, uh, dumps and uh, videos, uh, uh, we need to pay extra money. Sir. No, not required. Uh, already, I am making these dumps and all in Google Drive. I will give you the link where we people can download it. No worries. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. In uh, DevOps, uh, it's covering like uh, Ansible, Kubernetes, something like that. Right? So, it's in a syllabus, there is a, it's not there mentioned actually. Sorry, sorry. DevOps, so like uh, Ansible, Kubernetes, Docker related things is there, right? Yeah, Docker I have mentioned as, see, there, uh -huh. there are two types of DevOps, guys. One is open source DevOps, other one is Azure DevOps. When you go for open source DevOps, there they will teach about Ansible, Chef, Puppet, Docker, uh, I mean Jenkins, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? There okay. are many things, okay? This AZ400, whatever Microsoft implemented, I have included the syllabus. So why ha I have included Docker and Kubernetes? They are, uh, what is that? Uh, okay, very okay. demanding two topics in the market. So if you are, will be facing any interview, if the questions are coming, you should in a position to answer for that. That's why I have included these two topics mandatory nowadays. Okay. And so like well, DevOps, open source classes is uh, running? No, uh, in, uh... And uh, open source DevOps, I am not going to teach. This is only Azure DevOps. I said, right, Azure DevOps comes under software as a services. So it is pre-environment. I can say out-of-box functionality uh, where I will show you how to configure build and release pipelines. I got it? Yeah. No worries, sir. That's it. Yeah, any more questions? Is tomorrow's session scheduled at the same time and at the same time? Yeah, link? same time, 6.30 to 7.30. Okay. Okay. Can you share the links, that syllabus links, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Document, Anyhow, yeah. I will share this uh, document with you. Uh, yeah. Happily, you can keep it somewhere. No worries. <laughs> Hi, sir. Uh, yeah. This is Basha here. Uh, this is my personal question. Okay. Sir, actually, I'm working in server side, like uh, middleware operations I'm doing now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because, uh, so my salary is, uh, as of now, I have only five years of experience. My salary is 18 LPA. Okay. Okay. So, now we'll uh, learn this uh, Azure Admin and Azure, Azure DevOps. Uh, so the, I mean, uh, if in case we'll change the company, they will provide that much of salary. Uh, yes. Why not? For Azure administration and DevOps, they are providing even 20 to 30K in between. Okay, sir. Thank you. 30 lakhs per annum. Yeah. 
ओके सर एंड वन मोर थिंग आई एम अ जावा डेवलपर एक्चुअली ओके सो if with which one is better to like uh, is it uh, open source dev apps <laughs> azure dev apps no, no. i'm not uh, okay. about uh, really uh, which one is better yeah so that's what i am saying my 80% companies now people are moving to azure dev apps guys so what is the challenges of open source dev apps no for example you need to work on jenkins okay so you need few servers install master slave record configuration everything you have to do it manually okay if something goes wrong the troubleshooting part it will takes days and days like anything so coming to the azure dev apps uh, that is out of box functionality so the environment would be created and destroyed dynamically that is how they have designed uh, that is totally depends on you whichever you like i can say azure dev apps has more demand in the market you know uh, some people will learn uh, aws then coming to the dev apps they are learning aws dev apps yeah and uh, it is like the open source dev apps it is uh, uh, more uh, uh, coding related what is it yes it's... commands uh, you need to know linux everything uh, this dev azure dev apps uh, no uh, coding for is there ah no only yeah, application no configuration you should know how to configure what all the tasks to be add in order to configure build and release pipelines that all very interesting azure dev apps uh, when you jump into there i will clearly explain you everything and after this uh, completion of this course uh, will you explain like uh, how to uh, do the certifications how to Pay the yes. money is related. Yes, I will people. help you out on certification. No, no worries. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Tomorrow, as I said, no. I am going to discuss about how to subscribe for Azure Free Trial. That is very important session. Okay. Uh, please attend. Be ready. Okay. Thank, thank you everyone you, thanks for your time have a great day thank Bye. you thank you, sir. thank you sir Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yes, it is visible. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So in last session, just uh, we had discussed about worry of Microsoft Azure and uh, different certification papers that are available for Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah. Next. So another uh, thing is today I am going to discuss about how to subscribe for Azure Free Trial. Right? How to subscribe for Azure Free Trial. Okay. Yeah. Next. So to subscribe for Azure Free Trial, we require four parameters. How many? Four parameters. Important steps. Okay. One is uh, we need to pass your information. Information in a sense, your first name, last name, okay, email address, and address details. Okay. Second thing is uh, enter the mobile number. Enter the mobile number. So you have to enter your mobile number. Okay. Third thing is uh, enter the credit card details. What is that credit card details? So without credit card, we will not able to subscribe for Azure Free Trial. So credit card is mandatory. Okay. So if you don't have credit card, what should we do? We cannot do anything. 100% we required credit card details in order to subscribe for Azure Free Trial. Okay, yeah. Next path, uh, fourth one is debit card also works. Debit card. Uh, debit card very few. I will let you know what are the things are they are supporting. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Next. The final thing is terms and condition. Okay. Terms and conditions. Okay. Agree terms and conditions. So uh, when you subscribe for Azure Free Trial uh, for Indian people, okay, you will get 14,500 rupees that can be consumed for 30 days. After 30 days, automatically your account will get deactivated. You need not do anything. If you want to cancel the subscription,